Oh man, uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Uh-oh. He is uh he's money. looking for two. Yeah, money man. Mm-hmm. Money. He's looking for two dates in 2013 as well. Him and Manny, you know. Mm-hmm. Now, would it would it be one against the other? No, of course not. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> but um, apparently on May 4th, okay, in, in Vegas, it'll be uh, Money Mayweather going against Robert the Ghost Guerrero, you know. And I and I got to tell you, honestly, in this fight, I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if I hate to say it, man, but I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if uh, Money dropped this one. You mm. know what I'm saying? I wouldn't what do you mean by drop this one? Lost. <laughs> oh, you mean he'll he'll take a loss? I'm I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not I'm not saying I'm not I'm not predicting that, but I wouldn't be surprised mm-hmm. by it, dude. Well, he's had a long layoff from boxing, mm-hmm. you know, via being in jail mm-hmm. and um not finding a fight coming, you know, taking time to get back into the gym after mm-hmm. being in jail. Right. So you know, and he's you advancing know. in age. Right. Also, um, as as any boxing fan of uh, Floyd's knows, mm-hmm. his he he has um, bad hands. Mm. And yeah. so you know, taking you know not being in the gym, you know, his mm-hmm. hands is what mm-hmm. makes his money. Right. Um, right. That's also right. a factor. Yeah. So. That's what, the, and that's why I said. And the other guy's hungry. <laughs> he's, I was just about to say that. I was just about to say that, man. You know, uh, Robert Guerrero is hungry. You understand? And and I don't think this is going to be an easy fight for Floyd. To you honestly, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, the ghost is like what 28 years old. He's a lot younger. You know what I'm saying? He's mm-hmm. hungry, so he might have something to prove, man. So he, I'm not going to count him out. I'm not going to say it's going to be an easy victory for Floyd. And and if anybody does, I I have to look at him funny, to be honestly. You know, there's probably people, you know, that that would say that Floyd would take him out easily. I I just don't buy it unless I see it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Before my eyes, and I'm watching it on on a computer or the TV, whatever. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not going. I you know I just I'm not going to buy that. You know what I'm saying? I I hate to say it, but it's true. You know. You know if this was Floyd Prime Floyd, you know what I'm saying? Not being in jail, yeah. Floyd. It wasn't not, oh, to me, it's a no-brainer. It's yeah, a no-brainer. Those supposed to get, get handled easily. Yeah, that's a no-brainer for me. But we got to be realistic, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? So, yeah, yeah, that, that that's going to happen on May 4th. And it's an interesting card as well because I I, I um I know uh this other guy's supposed to be fighting. Um, it's going to be a real good card, actually. Uh, Canelo Alvarez against Austin Trout. Mm. Is the talk, and I think that's going to be a, another good fight. Um, you know, I know Cyclonus and, and yourself have mentioned that you know um, the Ginger Kid hasn't really fought anybody of notoriety. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? That that's always been you know his thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, him fighting Austin Trout, I think Austin is, is somebody that that is tough. Is a tough competitor. You know? Yeah, he he looked good in his last fight mm-hmm. um, against uh, Miguel. You know, against Miguel. Um, mm-hmm. I like Austin Trout. I think I think Alvarez might get mm-hmm. handled in that fight. Mm. You know, well, Trout is a better better boxer. Yeah, it's gonna be a test. Better, better all around, better technical boxer. Um, mm-hmm. Canelo's more of a you know brawler. So. Right. Right. So we'll see how that happens because I, he I does hit hard though. He does hit hard, but he he mm-hmm. he couldn't he couldn't knock out Sugar Shane. So right, he couldn't knock out an old weather beaten Sugar Shane. So he mm-hmm. he gonna have problems with Austin. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of kind of interesting. I'm not even gonna front, man, because I like I said, I think this is honestly, you know, at least in my opinion, anyway. This, to me, this this represents his first real test. You know and that's man. a good fight. That's a good. That's a fight oh, I want to sure. see. It is a good fight. It's going to be a good fight. As a fan and, and mm-hmm. also, you know, as us analyzing it, that that's a fight I want to see. Mm-hmm. And I'm a, and I'm a, I'm gonna even give kudos to 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 uh, Canelo. I mean, you know, about time you stepped up and fought somebody that that will give you a challenge. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? 
So I know he's been, you know, we've seen him on TV at, at these fights or whatnot. You know, he's scouting, whatever, taking a look. Um, I gotta give him. I, I'll give him props, man. If you, you know, if, if this is the guy you want to fight, you want to step in the ring with. Yo, this is this is no uh, this is no cupcake. This is no powder puff. You understand? Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? If you want to throw down with him in the ring, I'm going to give you credit. At least you stepped up and fought somebody that, that presents a challenge. So, you know, my hat's off to you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Now, I, I can't even predict that fight. I mean, you know, you, you were saying, like, how Alvarez is like a slugger and, and how mm-hmm. Trout is a little bit more technical. You know, if you know, you know how I feel about that. Technical is always going to, you know, yeah, one of you know the slugger, technician so. always, yeah, always uh, beat up on a on a mm-hmm. on a slugger.